Hi guys. All right, let's see if I remember how to make a video. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. So I have a new Digi in the shop. So I'm just gonna make a really quick video because I know I did show this in my live that I did earlier today. Um, so here we go. And I don't have, I already sent off, I sent the original of this to a friend of mine. So it was about this size. It was an itty bitty 1887 little ledger. This is pretty close to the actual size within, within a quarter of an inch or so. So I have done the digi in three different sizes. So you purchase the one digital and you will get all three of these sizes. First size is this little guy and I'll show you the inside of this in a second. The second size, and this is just printed on cream cardstock, is all this is. And this one is nine and three quarter by three and three quarter. And I just used my scoreboard and I gave it a half inch spine. So, you know, you've got a lot of wiggle room with that spine there. You could pretty much give it any size, you know, bigger or smaller than, that you want. And then I also did, so this is what this one looks like, printed out on a full sheet of paper. paper. So you don't need a borderless printer to do it, all right? So that's that size. Here's what the tiny guy looks like, printed out, all right? And then I also did a front and back, front, back, with squared corners, not round, so that you could use it for making this style of a journal. And I didn't take off this side. You'll see how this side's much longer than this so that you can position it on your cover, you know, depending on how much spine fabric you have come over. Um, and you can either cover this up or not, right? So if, if you want that, to scoot this over to the edge like I did, you would just cut some of this off, but so you still have the entire border. And then I made sure that the spine fabric covered this edge up, but didn't cover up this, right? If that makes sense. So there's the front and back of that one with a little book label on it. And this one is going out in the mail today, so I have to make this video quick. Um, and here's, I printed out on white and cream to show you the difference. Um, and then I also wanted to show the difference in, I generally always print on cream. It just looks better to me. Um, but I wanted to show you the difference in how much richer it looks once it's sealed, as opposed to just the plain paper, right? So there's that. Um, what else? I always forget, I always forget things. So this little guy, I just threw it together quick, just as a little show and tell. It's just got one quick um, stitch in the signature with the Tim Holtz tiny attacher. And this I had accidentally printed on white so I went ahead and just Mod Podge some rice paper on the inside, which I thought looked really cute. And then just random different, you know, little itty bitty pages. So I will be doing a tutorial, hopefully in the near future. There's the center. And we'll make one of these and one of these. Can't make this because I learned this from Nick. So, you know, if you want to learn that, go, go see Nick. Um, and then there's the back. All right. So that's it. Just a quick, quick, short video about the new Digi. Um, today is Sunday, the 27th of September. There's a big sale going on on my Etsy shop. Um, I have a bunch of my jelly print magazine pull packs. I think there's a couple book binding kits left. There might be a couple of the um, repurposed pouches and key fobs left. Those are all 40% off, so grab them while they're there. And I will be back really, really soon with the tutorial, and we'll make these. Um, it'll probably be a live so I can interact with you guys. I enjoy that much more. So we'll do a live, and we'll make these, and I will probably give away one of the ones that I make during that little live episode. All right. So everybody stay safe. Have a great weekend. The link to the di this digi will be in the description box below. Bye guys.